When we think of classical music, we don't generally think of people of color. We don't think about black people or indigenous people or Hispanic people, but yet they do exist in our field and they've made incredible contributions to um, the art form. And that's why Unmute the Voices exist. It exists because we want to be able to not only tell their stories about how they've been marginalized or held back from actually having the careers that they should have had or didn't have, but also to be able to celebrate the artistic integrity and vibrancy of who they are as artists. So many artists who are of color have made just enormous contributions to classical music that we would never know anything about. You think about people like Joseph Boulogne, who was the 18th century black French Guadalupian composer who was France's most renowned violinist, arguably the best violinist of the 18th century. Now, why do we know that? Because he plays, he's a violinist, of course, but he plays all the way up the freaking fingerboard on the violin faster and more daring than his contemporaries, such as Mozart or Haydn. Those guys weren't playing like that. They weren't writing music that went all the way up the fingerboard and then all the way down. That shows his versatility as well as his virtuosity as both a composer and a violinist. That was a black man whose mother was a slave, technically he was a slave as well, but was able to rise through the aristocracy and become this legendary violinist. Most people don't know who he is. So with that being said, that's why this show, Unmute the Voices, exists. So that we can tell those types of stories about these incredible musicians who have basically been forgotten in the classical music canon. I invite you to learn more about not just Joseph Bologna, but other composers and performers who have made incredible contributions to the field of classical music who just so happen to be people of color. I'm Dr. Morris, Dr. Quentin Morris to be more specific, and I am the host of Unmute the Voices. And I hope that you will tune in, watch us on social media. You can find us there or on YouTube.